Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we are looking at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Sci-Fi Doors. Now, sometimes even the simplest assets, even just in this case a door, can actually prove quite effective in your game. So let's take a look at this particular asset. So it comes with a demo scene, which you know me, I love demo scenes because it always gives you a chance to see what it could be. Now at the moment, uh, I don't think there's any post-processing added to this, and as you guys know, post-processing can really add so much more quality, but that said, the quality of this is quite nice anyway. So even if you decide not to opt for any post-processing, say you're on uh, aiming for a mobile device or something, then this is still really, really nice. So one thing I did notice is, yes, the doors do exist, however, they don't have any animation, so you would just need to create that simple animation of creating those doors opening like so. Other than that, overall quality is really, really nice. Um, we do have the materials and obviously the meshes. There is uh, some post-processing to use there if you want to. You can create your own, got the prefabs, textures, and even that demo scene that I spoke about. Quantity-wise, not a massive amount, but you wouldn't expect a massive amount anyway, because simply put, this is just exactly what it is, a door. Well, two doors. <laughs> So, uh, versatility, if you're creating something like um, a sci-fi shooter or something, then this probably comes in really handy. it would look really nice in your game. And going back to the whole post-processing thing, if we apply just a little bit and see what it could look like, that's pretty decent. That's not too bad at all. Price-wise, if we go to the page, it is currently free. Remember, assets do change all the time in their price so it could be free when you see this it could be a couple of bucks who knows uh, but overall you know I, I tend to go for assets that I do like and I do come across some which aren't that good and then they end up putting the prices up which just makes it even worse but yeah for its price I'd say that's pretty decent size wise it is just 9.2 meg it's really good actually so like I say if you are aiming for a mobile device yep this is probably gonna do quite well any 9.2 meg there um so yeah overall i do like this asset and i can see how it is useful like i say if you're creating a sci-fi shooter that'd be pretty awesome but you don't necessarily have to stick with just a sci-fi shooter you could do anything to it you could make it your own really you know play around with the materials i always find that playing around with the materials and changing colors and whatnot can actually give you a kind of a whole different feel because now this could be even just changing it to red this could be something that you would see in a resident evil style game you know in like the laboratory you get at the end so you can see a different kind of uses so sci-fi shooter resident evil laboratory in just a simple quick change so always play around with those uh, settings like on a material try and get what you want don't just take this asset for what it is, make it your own. So that is the whole customizable sense of it. Neat folders, always love to see neat folders laid out like this because it, there's nothing worse than getting an asset when it's just an absolute mess. Uh, extras, no extras really. I guess you could count this room as maybe an extra. Um, there's not much design to it. It's just a room that we can see the um, door in. So yeah, I wouldn't really say there's much in the way of extras. Now, as you guys know, I don't rate assets because I feel that kind of puts a strain or a burden on them. I prefer to either recommend them or not. Um, yeah, I recommend this. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend it if you're creating a medieval style game or, you know, a Skyrim style game, something like that. But if you're creating something which has um, a horror theme to some extent, a sci-fi theme, even like, um, I suppose a futuristic theme is sci-fi as well, then I think this will probably fit in quite well with whatever you decide to create. So yeah, I would recommend this. Um, yeah, so if you guys have used this asset, you let me know uh, what you think of it. Uh, if you've got an asset on the asset store yourself, let me know as well, because I'd love to check it out. It's always good for us uh, developers to kind of see what we've got and share these things as well. That's how these things go around. Uh, don't forget guys, click on that subscribe button and click on that bell icon as well to stay up to date with all of these reviews, all the tutorials that I've got on my channel. And yeah, one thing left for me to say and that's thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you around.